A clean title from Virginia with 20 cars a day being stolen this year from the nation's capital. Police and state DMV say they're committed to stopping car thieves. But this titling mistake has investigative reporter Mitch Blocker working to find how one stolen car slipped through the cracks. You're watching surveillance video from a diplomatic mission three blocks from the White House. The brazen daylight theft happened on the 5th of July. Before the sun sets, the camera captures a D.C. police officer writing a police report. Since the crime was committed on a foreign missions property, it gets the Secret Service's attention and gives the car's owner hope he'll get it back soon. I have confidence in the Secret Service. We have worked with them in the past. The thieves leave a trail of evidence. There's the security footage and the car's broken lock left at the crime scene. Automated traffic tickets spot the stolen car driving out of D.C. on July 6th and speeding toward Virginia on July 7th. That's when Virginia's DMV says this stolen car got a new owner and a new title. The vehicle was stolen right after the 4th of July, and it was titled two days later. Right. We did how, does, how, does that, how does that happen? That vehicle received the title, and we did not have alerts in our system then it's going to process without error and that title will be issued. So you are so you had no indication that that vehicle was stolen? That is correct. When a car is stolen anywhere, police everywhere are supposed to enter it into a national database called the National Crime Information Center. It's standard practice for state DMVs, including Virginia's, to check this database to see if a car is stolen before printing a fresh title. Our system was working properly on the um, on the day that we produced this title. Virginia's DMV gave 7 News a screenshot of its computer system. It shows the federal crime database listed the car as stolen on July 26th. It didn't show that this car was stolen until four weeks after it was stolen? Um, our, our system did not show that a stop was placed until July 26th. That's where this story goes sideways. We have video of MPD at the crime scene shortly after the car was stolen. We have the police report that MPD took that day, and we have an email from MPD saying that the car was entered as stolen about 36 minutes after the victim called 911. I mean, D.C. police tell me that, that they inputted this as a stolen vehicle the the day they took that police report which was on the 5th of july mm -hmm. we just don't see that in our system any idea what happened i don't <laughs> i don't it should have triggered in their system this is a stolen vehicle you can't register this virginia's officials only learned they titled a stolen car when get this it was stolen again in D.C. Metro Police and the Virginia DMV say it was stolen for a second time in August. The real owner finally has it back. I, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this is unheard of. Now, D.C. Police and Virginia DMV staff, they couldn't remember a case where a stolen car was titled. The Virginia DMV does say that our questions help them check some, some of their systems and that they are now working properly into their standards. Now, there have been more than 6,600 cars stolen in Washington this year, and it looks like at least two of them, Michelle, they came from the same vehicle. Wow, that's so, so unusual to have the same vehicle stolen twice. Yeah. I know you've been tracking this all year long. Yeah. Uh, where else have you found stolen cars? So, you know, the stolen cars, we found them all over the place. Obviously, 6,600, 20 a day, but they're used to commit all sorts of crimes. Mm. Police say violent crimes uh, are one of the reasons that uh, robberies, murders, and other, other violent crimes. And we've also found that cars from the DMV, we found them inside shipping containers that were bound for Africa. Remember this story? This is when we visited America's busiest shipping port. This is customs agents at the port of Baltimore helping to track down a half million dollars worth of stolen Mercedes and get them back to the DMV. Michelle, no American port has discovered more stolen cars this year than the port of Baltimore, less mm. than an hour drive from where we all live. And that could explain maybe why we're seeing so many in this area stolen. Sure. Yeah, I mean, some of this stuff is clearly used to commit other crime, mm -hmm. but yeah, there's money at stake. They can sell the cars. They're worth a lot of money overseas, yeah. and I-95 connects a whole lot of people 
to that very busy port in Baltimore. A hot market for it. Mitch, thank you for your reporting. Thanks. Less than a week ago, you may remember a group of